It's time to build onto the farm even more. What's going on everybody? DJ Garham here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. Today, we are going to try, <clears throat> try to make our life just a little bit easier. Also, for some reason, those are not picking up. Well, that's not really going to matter here in just a minute because we're going to build something. Ah, oh, crap, I don't have any money. We're going to do it soon, though. <laughs> So what are we doing? Well, we've got a multi-selling station in game now, and we're gonna place one down. It gives us what this costs ten grand. Plus, we get a new option for selling. So, and it's gonna be right here on the farm. We don't have to go very far for it at all. And because, well, well, you know, I'm just gonna get a black one because, because why not? Should we get a silver one? I think it's kind of silver. You know what? We'll get a silver one. Whatever. Let's put one down. First up, we've got to get some money because we don't have any. So let's either A, figure out one. Well, you know what? Let's just borrow the money because what if we place it down and then it's the best price to sell whatever I was going to sell and we would get more money. Borrow, 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 borrow. <laughs> let's see. Let's borrow about 20 grand. That's going to give us 10,000 for developing the place area. So let's go in. And let's do this. I'm going to start my landscaping. And it, it's a fresh game save, so it's not like we're doing anything wild and crazy right here. Let's go up to about right here, because this is where it's all flat. And so I'm going to take this area, and we're just going to build it up. Now, of course, we don't have to build up too much around. I take that back. Uh, that is way over our boxes right here we might want to come down a little bit with it. So how's about this? Let's keep it flat with that area over there, and then we'll just go around from there. So going through there, flat, 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 just about like that. I think that's a good place to start. Now let's jump in and let's find it. Of course, these are going to be in miscellaneous and they're going to be down, uh, let's see, right here actually, boom. This is what we wanted. Now I'm going to have it going this way so we can back into the area so I think that's going to be just fine. Uh, we do have, let's see, as a matter of fact, put it about right here. That way we've got a little bit of an overlap, something like that. I think about right there is good. We do have some trees back here. Unfortunately, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and we're going to place down some more trees behind that so that it makes it look like it's actually supposed to be there instead of just, well, a bunch of trees hanging out. <laughs> so I think right here is good. Got to go all the way around just to double check and make sure. I do also need to double check my uh, raised area right there. I think this is going to be good right here. So without any further ado, boom, place down. It looks like it did raise it just a bit. That's okay. We'll take care of that. There we go. And what I'm doing now is just smoothing out the area. So we have a nice, uh, a nice little kind of jump all there. That is good. This area right here is fine as well. We're going to go ahead and bring this down a little bit too, even though it's really not going to make a huge difference. We could create a little driveway through here, but we've got all these trees and, and the shrubbery, so I'm not going to mess about too much with that. Now that we've got that, let's put some dirt down. So let's go into painting and let's see, we've got our dirt here. So we're just going to create a nice little dirt path up to it, just like that. And what this is going to do is this is also going to give us a place where if we've got too much silage or too much TMR, like we did the last time we were on here, uh, we're not going to have that problem anymore. Also, speaking of problem, we've got all this grass right here, and I'm going to take care of it right now. Boom, there we go. And we got a little bit over here, too. We do have a little bit right there. Let's go ahead and take care of that. But ba boom baby. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and paint down around to the bottom. Uh, let's just make all of this gravel as well. Since it's gravel over there, well, we'll just make it look like it's supposed to be here instead of something that we just place down randomly because we're lazy and don't want to have to go across the map to sell. I mean, what? <laughs> all right. Can we get inside that? I don't think we can. No, that's a negative Ghost Rider. Perfectly fine with me. There's that. Let's see. Let's find our dirt again. One last time, we're just going to come around to the side just like that and coming around the bottom here i'm going to i think attach this down here so it 
kind of goes through a little bit, maybe something like that. Um, you know what? We may just leave it as is for now. I think we'll just do that. We'll leave it as is for now. Let's go ahead and come through. I'm going to paint this grass in. Then we're going to come back. We're going to sell eggs because that was another huge reason for putting this right here is egg sales. Where, man, egg sales are so annoying. And getting it all together and that kind of thing, it's just hectic. So what am I going to do? Not do that anymore. One last run through here with the dirt. And I would say that's pretty good right where I want it. I dig it. You guys like that? I'm liking that. I'm liking that a whole lot right now. So let's go in. Let's save the game so that nothing crazy happens. And let's take a look. So now we have the Edge Grain Vault. And we've got prices showing up for that. That is good. Let's see, egg prices. They're not the best, to be fair. They're better at Hollister. But we've got so much going on here. So it is time that we... Oh, is this the same thing? So we have to hold it up. I guess that's the problem with these. It's not really a problem. Also, we're going to get rid of these grates as well. There we go. Sell, 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 sell. Chunk that over there. I had some eggs that were on the ground a second ago. We're... Where did those boxes go? Did they fly over? Yeah, they did. Look, they're right there. <laughs> That's great. So now we're making some money. That's good. Let's just go ahead and throw that over there right into the chicken pen. Speaking of, will this work? Yes. Let's pick this up. Come on. Give it to me. Get, let me get it. Let me, let me pick it up. Uh-oh. Uh, I think it's... I think it's still something's wrong with it. <laughs> we need to get one of these to pick it up. And oh no, my mod won't work anymore. <laughs> Crap, got it. I was being disrespectful to the mod. There we go, chunk it in. Yeah, 389 bucks for that sale. And one more right here. There we go. 6,200 bucks. Not too shabby. Now, two of these can probably go because this is still extremely beneficial to us. Uh, for getting eggs and stuff like that. Surprised that it's all the way back up here. Yeah, it goes all the way down there. Regardless, so, got an idea actually. What if, instead of doing them that way, we go three wide. Maybe then, because we've got six on here, maybe then it'll put them all in all the grates instead. So that's going to be extremely beneficial, extremely useful for us, um, and it's going to aid in our laziness, which I always love. There we go. One, two, three, four. Boom, shaka, laka. Just like that. So we've got that. We need to spray the fields, but we don't actually need to spray them yet. Let's take a look. Boom, jump in. So you can see that we have grass in 30, 31, 32. And then we have oats in 28, 33, 41, and 42. Everything's completely done there. Everything is growing. And we've got one fertilization state on everything. So we need to prep our fertilizer with the... Actually, we've got a little bit of money now. Let's go ahead and pay off that loan. How much of a loan did we take out? 30 grand. All right, so we're going to be poor again. There we go. <laughs> it's all right, I guess. Let's prep this. Going to go ahead and load it up with fertilizer. Uh, the reason that we had so much money go down is because I was using workers the last time we were in here. I did have the workers buy seed and fertilizer. It's probably a bad thing, but you know what? It's fine. It is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. This ain't going to take long at all, but we've got to wait until the crops grow. So let's go. Let's fill up with uh, liquid fertilizer. Let's wait for these crops to grow up for one, uh, one growth state. And we're going to hit them. Well, we've got rain, but we do have our first growth state in. So that is good. Nice and easy for us. How's about this? Let's jump down to the ground. Boop. Yep. And because we started up. Yeah, we're started. I'm going to go through and I'm going to go ahead and turn on this. The great thing about doing fertilizer and that kind of thing is... Actually, I'm going to turn that off. Can't really see. Um... The great thing is it's raining, but I could still spray. We could still do this in game and we are not shooting for realism at all. This is just how it works. Now, one thing I would like to do is I would like to be able to buy the New Holland self-propelled sprayer. I think that would be very beneficial to us, but for now, 
this is what we got. So this is what we're going to have to use. Hey, we got one growth state on our grass too. Heck yeah. That is awesome. One, uh, one easy way that you guys, if you don't want to plant grass for whatever reason, uh, you can always just paint paintable grass down and it will work just fine. Now you won't be able to fertilize it, but it'll still work. So if that's something you guys are wanting to do, maybe you're starting off and you've got enough money to paint all your fields, go for it. I said go for it. So let's get this done. Then we're probably going to have to sleep through the night. Uh, one thing that I am going to do is we're going to go down to Lone Oak, uh, Lone Oak Store and we're going to babysit the... Goodness, what crop did we have down there? Some, uh, soybeans. Soybeans. Uh, we're going to babysit that crop and see when the price gets to the highest. And then we're going to sell. We should be making quite a bit of money off of that. Well, while we are waiting, I have got a pretty decent price for barley right now. Let's see. Let's see if we can get that pick up. There we go. 2,100 liters. Got it in here. And the best price for this is, funny enough, right here on our farm with our new purchase spot. You're only 800 bucks per thousand liters, which is kind of unheard of for barley on normal mode. Actually, are we on normal mode? That might be a good question. <laughs> I didn't think about that. All right, here we go. Barley in, 1300 bucks. Not too bad, especially since I totally forgot that we had helper buy fertilizer on. So we're kind of negative $14,000 right now. But you know what'll help that? If we go over right here, we go down here, find this little green dot, and we hit enter vehicle to sell 200,000 liters of soybeans because soybean price has reached its peak at $1,512 per thousand liters at Lone Oak Co. And we are going to get it sold and we are in the green. Yes, it only took 10,000 liters. <laughs> so we're going to let this go because this is going to take us a little while to get all this sold. But right now we're already up almost $50,000. We haven't even sold a quarter of what we've got yet. And after a 200,000 liter sell, we have profited $302,000. We're back in the money, baby. Ah, oh, yeah. So let's, um, let's see, 1447 in the afternoon let's go ahead and let's just take ourselves a nice well-deserved break let's head back over to the main farm we're going to drop this off over there we're going to take us a little nap we'll see you guys in the morning hopefully everything will be grown by then i totally forgot that we sold a bunch of stuff at the biogas plant three hundred and eighteen thousand dollars for that so we're up 600 grand at this point I just got back over the farm. Look how dark that is. You can't see a darn thing. Man, oh man. Well, morning should be coming around soon. Well, it's not quite morning, is it? It's uh, 1 17 in the afternoon. That's what time it is. What we've got is we have three oat fields ready to go. Our three of our biggest fields. We've only got four fields. And then we've got grass all in this field. Now, this field right here, I need hay. I need hay bad. I don't know how much hay I need. I just know that I need it. With the hay that's in here, we're also going to need some grass as well so we can make some silage. Now, the great thing is I could take grass or hay or chaff and I could put it in here and make silage. However, you can see right here, we've got 211,000 liters of straw. We've got half a million liters of silage and no hay. So I need at least half a million liters of hay to make this happen, maybe closer to 1 million liters of hay in order to make it all work. And we got to figure out exactly how we're going to make that as well. We're going to use tractors with mowers on the front and tethers on the back, or we're we going to do something else. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to run mowing, front mowing and tedding in the back, I guess, setups. So here's what we're going to be using. First up, we're going to go into mowers and we're gonna actually skip the end game Novacad, so we're gonna go straight to the modded ones because eventually, maybe we wanna do something a little bit different. We got enough money to do this, so now we are going to do this. So Novacat 301 Varia, boom. We're gonna get two of these, double check, make sure these are the ones that swath. Yep, so there's one and there's two, and then we're going to get this guy right here. Now there's a reason I'm getting this versus this one because this one right here does not have a front and rear three-point, only a normal three-point. 
and that ain't going to work for us. So we're going to get two of these. There we go. Now we can rock those together. Now tethers. So if you look, these mowers right here that we've purchased, these mowers are 8.4 meters. Okay. Well, this tether right here is 8.7, just barely on the outside of it. But that's good. So that's what we're going to be using on the back of our tractors. Boom, click it right there. And we're going to get two of these purchased everything, $154,000 just for a mowing rig. We, we made that money. It's ours now. So what we're going to do is slowly but surely, we're going to get all of this stuff sent back over here to the main farm. Reset, reset, reset. This should be the last piece right here. I believe it is. Yep, it is. So let's jump right in. You know what? Let's jump right into the T8. Both of these setups are going to be completely identical. Um, no change at all in either one of these setups. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So first things first, we need to pull straight up to this guy. Got it. That's going to go on the front. And this one right here, going to go on the front as well. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at this. We could probably put the tether on the back of the... Mo you know what? Just for funsies, I want to give this a try and see if this will actually work. Because it w if it will, this may be huge. I'm going to try this out and see. It's definitely going to make things a lot easier on the front of the tractor. But the T7... It's going to save the T7 a whole lot of heartache. Um, no. That's a negative Ghost Rider. So, let's drop off the front. <laughs> let's drop this off. And then we're just going to go with our first idea. So, the tether is going to go on the back. Got it. Mowers are going to go on the front. Now, we could, if we had something a little bit... Oh, that's not good. If we had something a little bit bigger, this may really just pick the darn thing up. There we go. Uh, if we had something bigger, this would definitely be a little bit easier. But it's, it can be honest with you, it's pretty fine for what we've got going on right now. <laughs> That's a heck of a setup, though, isn't it? Tell you what, T8's handling it just fine. T7, I'm a bit worried about. <laughs> So let's uh, let's go ahead and get everybody unfolded. Unfold, unfold. Let's go ahead and get the tether unfolded. This should work. Should work just fine and do exactly what we need it to do. I hope that it does work. <laughs> but this is going to be good nonetheless. We are going to be going with a wide swath drop. So no closed end swath dropping. Everything is going to be completely wide. We do want that. That is good. And you know what? I'm just going to... Of course the worker can't start working yet. Let's go ahead and drop that down. Turn it on. Get that down. Turn it on. And get this down. And turn it on. Rock forward. Get to about right here. Hire worker. These are all in-game. Well, the, the mowers are not in-game, but they're mods of in-game stuff. And you can see, this is working absolutely perfectly. I'm not sure this could work much better. The biggest thing is going to be when it gets down to the end, how is it going to do there? Plus the fact that we're stuck at 11 miles per hour. We can't go any faster than this. Again, I do want to see how this works at the very end. And of course, we're going to have to hit headlands and stuff like that. Um, and then this, this whole field is going to be turned into just one big hay field. That's not too bad. I dig it, man. I dig it. All right. Let's, um, let's double check, make sure that this goes around and we'll be good to go. Yep. Not going to work. Uh, that is not going to work at all. Uh, it tried to start mowing right here, which you could probably tell is not what we wanted at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down, go ahead and turn the hay that it made real quick. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of these tethers because these tethers are not going to work for us. The mowers, they're going to be totally fine. Let's go ahead and drop the front one. And we're going to back up, kind of push this guy out of the way. No, I don't, I don't want it. Drop it. There we go. Um, this is not going to work. So we're going to have to come through and ted a separately or b 
um, with something else. But again, mowers, I think these are going to work just fine. I think it's the fact that they're on the front and it's kind of confused. And, of course, we don't want to confuse the mowers any. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Get subscribed to the channel if you've not done so already. Turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a Let's Play. Let's Play every day, seven days a week at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Well, that being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace!